Well, kudos to you for doing that for real and getting involved. Like you got involved in the in residence life. Wait, let's just jump right to that triple star, triple superstar <laughs> situation because that is so cool. What is that? Talk to us. Oh, <laughs> um, so it was something that actually came about really recently. Um, I am an RA now. Um, this is my third year at college, so now I'm a resident assistant, and I have the opportunity to advise a hall council like I was on my first year this year. Um, and it was so much fun. They just did a week of recognition where they said thank you um, for the work that I did, not only as an RA, but also advising student leaders um, and also serving on a student leadership organization. And that was one of the most rewarding comments to see, not just because, you know, I hadn't heard from them in a while, but because I think, um, you know, there's a Jesse Owens quote that um, awards become corroded, but friends don't gather dust. And I think that means so much to me because hearing, um, hearing that the work you do matters to the people that you're doing it with really holds a lot of value. You know, you want to make sure that not only do you love the work you're doing, but you love the people that you're doing it with and for. So. That was such a lovely thing to see come across my Instagram feed. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. I mean, really, that is that is just super special. And now that I got to know you a little bit, I, I really understand why. So, listeners, I got oh, to know you. Sarah. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, my God. I got to know her in, in our boot camp. And mm -hmm. that's how we met. And, um... She was a star student in the boot camp, of course. She was very engaged. <laughs> and uh, we got to know each other a little better. And I'm so glad because that's part of why I do the work I do. Because I love these young women and their what they bring, their perspective on the world. is just so, so awesome. So, like, you have so much leadership already. So much leadership experience um, and award-winning sessions um, that we talked about in the bio. You know, why, how did you get to there? I mean, you know, it's, <laughs> it's not like everybody, that's why it's leaders, right? But why do you think that you were drawn to there, those kinds of activities? Yeah, um, you know, life really only makes sense in retrospect. Um, but looking back, <laughs> I knew I wanted to get involved. And I knew I wanted to kind of make connections with other people on campus, start doing some work that mattered. Um, and so I got involved with, like, my hall council organization. And then my second year, a position opened up um, to do recognition and development on a larger level, and that involved um, serving as something called, like, a national communications coordinator for our university. So I got to organize delegations. We went to residential life conferences. Um, so sometimes they were regional, and, you know, you see other schools from New York um, and the Northeast. And then other times it was a national level, which was really cool because I got to find some of the people from back in California. I saw people I met in high school, and now it turns out we're doing some of the same work, which is really fascinating to see how people come in and out of your journey. Um, and so that was such a great experience. I was really drawn to the ability to help other people. Um, express their leadership skills, which I think is great because not only are you putting together delegations, which is a lot of work, planning travel logistics, putting on presentations yourself, but you also have the opportunity, you know, to go and win awards for other people to recognize the work that they're doing. And obviously awards aren't everything and recognition means a lot no matter how it's presented. But I think something about hearing like an official organization say that you put together something so wonderful and so deserved. I think there's something really um, powerful in that. So that was an amazing opportunity I got to have. And then some of the leadership sessions that I facilitated, my favorite one was actually written by my advisor who, um, who just kind of asked if I would facilitate it for a smaller leadership retreat we, that we do. Um, and I took it to uh, one of the conferences that we had. Um, so it's about keeping meaningful connections with others which is something I really value. Um, it's based on the 36 questions to fall in love, which is a New York Times article about 36 questions that you wouldn't necessarily ask a stranger, um, but that your conversations would be so much more meaningful if you did. So we did that. Um, the conference was <laughs> Super Mario themed. 
So, of course, it was told a little bit through the dialogue of Toad from Super Mario Paper Sticker Star, which um, it was called Stop Skipping My Dialogue because I think in, vi in video games, I'm definitely someone who skips through some of the side dialogue because it's just so chatty and repetitive. But sometimes when you're skipping through uh, those conversations, you miss a lot of the deeper, like, gems of the game, you know, some of the funny parts, and I think that's a really great metaphor for what happens when you have conversations with others, is it's really easy to just kind of feel like you want to get it over with, you want to move on with your day, like, you got Starbucks waiting on Tap and Go or um, <laughs> Grubhub mobile <laughs> order, but, you know, if you skip through those conversations, you miss what an amazing gem of an opportunity you could have had. So hopefully that, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Of course it makes sense. It ties everything together. I mean, all the things you, that are meaningful to you. And I love this awareness you have about yourself already, that you know this about yourself and that you're doing work already in the space and making a difference. And this, uh, 30, this article uh, that we talked about before, the 36 questions to fall in love, that mm -hmm. is a super cool angle. Um, to think about networking and the way, you know, how you said you ran into other people that you knew before. Like, it's a small world, right? I mean, and you're developing, you're building and developing these relationships. You don't know where they're going to take you and how your world's going to lay out, but you've got this foundation and um, it's, mm -hmm. it's amazing. You know, it's amazing that you already have this going on, sister. So I'm saying. So it's a superpower. <laughs> you have a superpower. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. Everyone, everyone should carry it with them. I think that especially networking uh, specifically, it's really easy to make, um, to make kind of a forgettable impression that everyone, you know, people are meeting so many other people that you can say the same three things as other people. But if you were to ask like a deeper question, like if you ask someone you want to be your mentor, who their mentor was, suddenly you have something that you can go off of when you're making that connection again, or that, um, that second follow-up that sets you apart from other people. Yeah, it's always the best. It's always a way to pay it forward and, and, and ask what you can give. And then, you know, as part of that conversation and developing the relationship. So, mm -hmm. so key. Um, okay, so what would you say would be the one piece of advice you would give to young women as they're rising up through college based on everything mm -hmm. that you have? Um, I think I would definitely say go into every day, every room, every opportunity that you walk into with an open mind. Um, not just about new ideas that you could bring, but also new experiences. Because I think you never know what you might gain out of an experience. Um, and staying engaged allows you to pick up on those smaller moments that might be helpful as you go on to your next, uh, you know, your next experience, the next room you walk into. Um, and if I can briefly plug the Supergirl Boot Camp, um, not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I, you know, I came into it not really knowing what to expect, but I knew that I really loved, you know, you describe your superpower as being bold. Um, and there was a really confident um, kind of pitch for the uh, boot camp that I came across on my university's job board. And I knew I wanted to try it out. Um, and so I wasn't sure exactly what I would gain, but through it, I was really able to clarify my mission statement um, and know exactly what I wanted to say about myself if I was ever in like an elevator pitch situation. Um, and a few days later, I was in an elevator pitch situation and I was so ready to go just because I walked into that experience not knowing um, what I could get out of it, but taking advantage of it. Um, and it prepared me for the next um, room I walked into. So Thank you to the boot camp, and that's the advice I would definitely give to people: is just take advantage of every experience. Oh, thank you for that. That's tremendous. I'm so happy that you got something out of it. You know, really like tangible results. That's what we live for. So that's awesome. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that is incredible. I, thank you for sharing that. I I I really appreciate that. And. Um, you just have such a bright future. I'm so happy for you. But we do have to wrap up, and I just want the listeners to know the best way to get in touch with you if they wanted to get more of Sarah McReynolds' amazing juice. Uh, 
Um, <laughs> definitely shoot me an email. My email is my first name, Sarah, dot my last name, McReynolds, at nyu.edu. Um, happy to talk with anyone. Uh, as you can probably tell by this podcast, I have no shortage of words. <laughs> um, so, yeah, absolutely. I'd love to help anyone out. <laughs> awesome. Sarah, you are gold. Okay, seriously, gold. Oh. Big heart gold. Love you. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for taking time out of your schedule to be here to share your energy and your special just, I don't know, sauce. It's, a, it's, a, it's an incredible <laughs> thing you have. That thing, that Thank thing. Thank you for you know? having me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I want to have you back again. So oh. uh, in closing... Thank you, listeners, for being here with us on the Hero Whispers. As always, we, we love you. We appreciate you. Take the advice. Go into every day with an open mind. Take Sarah's advice. She is a rock star. Until next time, go out and slay dragons. <laughs>